All right, all I can tell you yes, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to update that BIOS on the Gigabyte B450i or Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. This is a how-to or tutorial instead to show you how to get this done. I do not hold no responsibility if you decide to do this to your system and something messes up and it destroys your components. I would recommend hooking up to a UPS if possible. That is an unruptable power supply. That way, if something would happen, you'd lose power. You have enough power to continue to feed your computer. That way, you take less of a chance of breaking your motherboard by doing so. There is a few good reasons why you may want to update your BIOS. A lot of times, if you're having a lot of blue screens of death or whatnot because of new components, the BIOS update will fix that. New GPUs coming out. A BIOS update will help a lot of problems that come along with those, along with driver updates. Maybe you get one to go get some new RAM for your system or something like that. The RAM compatibility list is usually better by updating your BIOS. A lot of time by updating your BIOS, you can actually get better performance out of your CPU, especially if it's a Ryzen CPU with the PBO or something like that. Then BIOS control a lot of that as well. So that's a few reasons why you may want to update your BIOS. Since the release of Ryzen 5000, which I've mentioned in the past, since the release of Ryzen 5000 series processors, as long as your system's running good and it's good and stable, I would not recommend updating your BIOS. A lot of BIOSes nowadays, since the release of 5000, you have if you go up too high on your BIOS, you run too old of a CPU, your system won't ain't going to boot at all because the higher BIOSes don't support older CPUs. Just keep that in mind while doing this. So let me flip you over here and I'll show you the video of how to get this BIOS updated through the Q-Flash system. And then I'll be back with the conclusion to the video. All right, y'all. And to get this uh, BIOS updated on this Gigabyte B450i or Pro Wi-Fi motherboard, you do need a flash drive. I recommend one about eight gigs. You don't have to be quite that big. They ain't a real big file. That's what I recommend. I went ahead and got one in my computer here. It's right here, letter D. And you can see it's already got some stuff on it. Now, when you do this, keep in mind, you have to format the hard drive or format the flash drive. So any information on that flash drive will be erased. So keep that in mind. Make sure there's nothing on the hard drive or the flash drive that you really want to keep because it will, it will completely erase it. But you go under this PC, over here to the, to the drive, you right click, go down to format, and you have to have F32 selected right here. And you want the complete capacity of it. And you just hit the start button. That reminds you here that you know all the all the data will be erased from the flash drive. Hit OK, let it do its thing. Alright, format's complete. Now if we click into it. You'll see that there is nothing in the folder. It is a complete empty folder. What was in it was was deleted. Okay, you can use any web browser you like. I like Google Chrome. So we're going to open up Google Chrome here. And we're going to start typing in Gigabyte, which mine will show up because I've already looked it up whenever I downloaded the driver for my motherboard. It's a Gigabyte B450i or it's Pro Wi-Fi. You want to make sure you take the top one here. It is from gigabyte.com. You go over here to support. You come down here to BIOSes, which there's 15 BIOSes. Okay, if you want to see what BIOS you're in before you go into the BIOS, you can always download this little program called CPUZ. There's a little application that runs in the background that tells you everything that you got in your system and whatnot. But this is one way to tell what BIOS you're all running. Up at the top, you got your CPU information, you got your motherboard, you got your memory, your graphics, you got a benchmarking tool, and all this good, happy stuff. But we're using it mainly just to get to the see what the BIOS version is we have. So you collect where it says main board. Go down here, second column down, says BIOS. It's got uh, the brand. The main thing you want to look at is this version, which is F60F. It's AMD Ages Combo. 
and it's 1.1.0.0 and the date it was available was 1 1 18 of 2021 now if you go back and you look at the web page for this motherboard we don't have an F60F listed and it's actually older than what this F60 is uh, the F60 was they come out on 3 5 of 2021 and it is a newer version of the Asus Aegis combo um, the F60 it does have the version of 1.2.0.0 instead of 1.1.0.0 so what I got what I have on my motherboard is older than this F60 but we're going to be going ahead and we're going to take it all the way up to F61D here today. That way I got the newest one that's available on my motherboard. Now if you're below F, if you're the F32 or below, you need to read these notes over here. If you go up to F41, it says before updating the BIOS to this new version, you must follow the steps as detailed under F BIOS F40 description. Go down here to F40. It says, note, if you are using Q-Flash Utility to update BIOS, make sure you have updated the BIOS to F32 before 40. Before, up, before update BIOS to 40, you have to install ECFW update tool B19.0517.1 or later version to avoid four DIMM DDR4 incompatibilities on third gen AMD Ryzen CPU. So if you want to go up to F40 or above F40 and you're underneath either one of them, if you're below F40, you got to go up to F32. Then you got to install this ECFW update tool before you can go up to F40. So once you can get, once you get this done, you can get up to F32 then you can go all the way to the very top without having to do each individual one you go straight from F32 straight to the top if you want to okay since we're already way above that point and we're going to do this F61D I'm going to hit download and we're going to come down here and hit the open button that way it opens up when it's done we're going to extract all. We're going to browse this PC. We're going to go to the letter D, because that was where my flash drive was installed at. We're going to select folder, and then we're going to extract. Alright, there we go. That's what you need to be needs to be on your uh, flash drive. We're going to go ahead and close out of this. Close out of this. I'm going to close out of this. We're going to go ahead and close down CPU-Z. We really don't need that. We're going to go down here to the start. Then we're going to go up to the power button. Left click on the power and hit restart. And we're just going to start tapping the delete, the delete key as the system restarts. Alright, here we go. We're into the BIOS now. And you can come over here and you can click this here little button says right here click uh, Q flash or you can come down here at the bottom corner and have over it says Q flash either way you like to do it let's double click on uh, Q flash here and it tells you right here the model the model name uh, the buyers version that we do have the date it was available Okay, go on over here. I'm gonna hit update BIOS. They recognize the flash drive that I have in with the file already on it, which is the B450IAPW.61D. I'm gonna select it and double click on it. And it's verifying the file, make sure it's supposed to be what it's supposed to be. And over here on the bottom, it's over here on the left hand side, it shows your current, which is BIOS F60F, 
which is available on 118 of 2021. You're going to be going up to BIOS F61D, which first came out on 510 of 2021. And it won't do nothing until you hit it. Then you got to come over and hit press to start. And now it'll start updating the BIOS. And you just let it go. All right, now it's going to reboot itself. Or you can go down here and click the reboot button either way. Now since it's booted back up, I'll go up here and uh, open up CPUZ again, just to verify that it did actually take place. Or you can go back into the BIOS to check as well if you feel more comfortable doing that. Go to your main board, go down to your BIOS, and you are now on F61D, which was first available on 510 of 2021, which was the latest one. So now the BIOS is up to date and it's on the latest version. Let me get reset up here and uh, I'll come up with a conclusion to the video for y'all. All right, all, and that's pretty well the way you uh, get the BIOS updated on the Gigabyte B450i OS Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. Hope you learned a little bit of something about how to do this. You got a little bit of entertainment out of this video. But either way, if you like this video, get down there and give me a like. If not, there's that dislike button. There's a comment section below. I'll get to them every weekend here on my live stream, Saturday morning, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here in the U.S. If you really like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification button. That way you're notified next time I put a video, I'll go live here on YouTube. Also, if you're interested, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. I don't care your inbox, but I do put up photos of new stuff I have coming in. Just give me an idea of what's coming up on the channel. If there's any any information about guard cancer or change the time of my live stream, I suppose you also get that information as well. With all that being said, you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video or live stream.